Hi guys, my name is Neha Gupta and I am your mentor for current affairs. So I am back with the current affairs with the morning tales for October 10, 2020 and I hope that in the three days uh, from yesterday, you have seen these flashcard sessions of September 2020. For those who have not seen those sessions, I would like to suggest them do watch those sessions because they are very important for your understanding of news as well as you can learn the things you can retain the news items presented in september spotlight better through those sessions so i would like to suggest you to do watch those three parts of flashcard for september 2020 and for now and now we will be discussing about the today's session so guys in today's session i have a total number of seven news which are very important for your examination we will be having a glance of all the topics that we will be discussing in this new, uh, in this video in our index slide but before that i would like you to subscribe to our channel and hit this bell notification so that whenever we come live on the channel you get the latest updates besides this you can also join this telegram group where we provide quizzes and we pro, uh, resolve the queries of students if they have any kind of uh, query regarding guide uh, regarding career guidance or regarding subject so these kinds of queries are resolved on this telegram channel and now here comes our index page in which i have mentioned all the seven news items so let's have a glance over all the topics and then we will be discussing each and every topic in a very detailed manner so what is our first topic the first topic is world economic forums 51st annual meeting now guys let me tell you that in 2019 rbi's phase one rbi grade b's phase one paper there was a question on the venue of world economic forums annual meeting so that is why this is very important for you to know that where is this uh, economic forums annual meeting going to be held and what is the theme of this meeting so venue and theme will be discussed in this first question then we have world bank's south asia economic forecast report what are the gdp forecasts presented by world bank in this report i will be discussing all that in the second question then we have RBI's monetary policy committee's decisions. So recently RBI has uh, met with the monetary policy committee and there are certain decisions taken by RBI or taken by the monetary policy committee. So we will be discussing all those things in the third question. The Nobel Prize 2020. Today it says the Nobel Prize on Literature has been announced. So who are the awardees of other Nobel Prize categories? that also we will be discussed in this fourth question then we have a center of excellence on high value vegetables this is very important from the examination point of view because it is related to agriculture and promotion of farmers so which state has established this center of excellence we will be discussing that in the sixth question sorry fifth question then we have Gyan Circle Ventures of Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. This is quite an important initiative of Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So what is this initiative all about? That will be discussed in sixth question. Then Technological Incubation and Development of Entrepreneurs Scheme. So this scheme is short form as TIDE. You must have heard about this scheme of Ministry of Electronics. So this Tide scheme will be discussed in the sixth question itself. Why? Because the center has been established under the Tide scheme. So these are all the news that we will be discussing in today's session. So you can yourself understand how this session is important for you. So do watch it till the end. Here comes our first question. What is the venue of World Economic Forum's 51st annual meeting? What are the keywords? Venue, World Economic Forum, 51st, which is the edition of this annual meeting. So what is the answer? Can you make a guess? Now guys, usually the World Economic Forum conducts its annual meeting in Davos, which is in Switzerland. And this year, uh, this venue has been changed to Yusuf. So this, is, this city is also in Switzerland. And 
here the world economic forum will conduct its 51st annual meeting now the other thing that we need to pay attention to is the theme of this annual meeting so what is the theme guys can you make a guess let me tell you that the theme of this annual meeting was announced as early as in january 2020 so i hope that majority of you should know the answer the answer is the great reset so this is the theme and you should remember the theme as well as the venue for your examination point of view that was all that we had to discuss in the first question and this is our second question which is about what is the gdp growth rate forecast for india by the world bank in fy21 so as you guys know that various organizations are nowadays uh, reducing india's gdp forecast and world bank has just joined the race so with what is the new gdp forecast presented by world bank it is minus 9.6 percent for fy 21 fy 21 is 2020 to 2021 and what is the gdp forecast for fy 22 it is 5.4 percent now both these forecasts are for india and you have to keep these things in your mind in order to crack the examination with flying colors then we have the third question which is about what is the gdp growth rate projected by rbi in its monetary policy committee for fy 21 now why is this important there are two reasons first reason is that it is the rbi's monetary policy committee and the second reason is that usually the government uh, remains silent on the gdp growth rate until the very end of the year but right now rbi has presented the gdp growth forecast for fy21 for india now what is that gdp forecast for india the answer is minus 9.5 percent now apart from this the uh, rbi's monetary policy committee has also made certain decisions and what are those decisions let us discuss that in the next slide so guys in this slide i have put all the decisions that have been taken by monetary policy committee usually we know that monetary policy committee tends to change the repo rate repo rate is the policy rate so this repo rate has remained unchanged earlier it was 4% and right now it has been uh, kept at 4% RBI has not changed it reverse repo rate is also at the same rate marginal standing facility and bank rate are again at the same uh, rate which were there in the earlier monetary policy accommodative stance has been maintained now guys all these terms have been explained in detail in RBI 24 session which are taken by Mansi ma'am so I hope that you have uh, be, you have been following those sessions continuously because these terms have been explained quite a number of times in those sessions so do watch RBI 24 7 as well as PIB 24 7 for your phase 2 examination point of view then we have consumer price inflation rate now this is 6.8 percent this is projected at 6.8 percent for second quarter of 20 21 to 2022 so second quarter is june to september then 5.4 to 4.5 percent for half yearly from april to september of 2020 to 2021 4.3 percent for q1 of 2021 to 2022 that is january to march so these are the forecasts for consumer price inflation rate. Then we have GDP growth rate forecast, which is minus 9.5% as we have just discussed in the question. So here ends this news because there is nothing else that you should remember for the phase one examination of majority banks, majority of the banks. And now we will be discussing the next question. So, who among the following has won the Nobel Prize in Literature for 2020? Can you make a guess here that who is the winner of Nobel Prize in Literature for 2020? So, the answer is Louise Krupp. Now, she is an American poet. 
do keep this fact in your mind that she is the American poet because I continuously say that nowadays questions are picked up from the minute details. Therefore, you need to keep in mind these details. So she is from America and she has won this award. Now, who are the other, other awardees? In this table, I have mentioned all the awards of Nobel Prize, all the awardees of Nobel Prize in different categories. So until till this date, only these categories have been announced and other categories will be announced later on. And we will be covering that in the sessions too. So do follow the morning tales regularly. Now let's discuss this table. So in physiology and medicine, three person have three, three people have been awarded. Harvey Alder, Michael Hoffman, and Charles Rice. Then we have in physics, again, we have three, three people who have been awarded. And why have they been awarded? They have been awarded for the discoveries that improved the understanding of universe and including work on black holes. Now, why is it important for us to remember the purpose? The reason is there was a question in phase two examination of last year's, uh, I guess in Arya Nabad, I don't remember the exact exam, but there was certainly a question on the reason uh, in Nobel Prize winner. So you have to remember the purpose as well for which these people have been awarded. Now next we have the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. As here we have two people, Emmanuel Chap. Charpentier and Jennifer A. Don't. And in literature, again, we have Louis Gluck. So we have discussed this table. And don't worry, you don't need to keep the, you don't need to write the notes because this table, as well as all the things mentioned in the session, are provided in Spotlight magazine in detail. So you can download that magazine and have all these news in your, uh, in your table. Next is our question. About, which is about which state has partnered with Israel for establishing a center of excellence on high value at vegetables to improve and promote the livelihood of farmers. So clearly we have the purpose of this center of excellence. What is the purpose? To improve and promote the livelihood of farmers. Now which state has partnered with Israel? That is the most important thing. So the answer to this question is option B, Meghalaya. Meghalaya has partnered with Israel, Israel for this center of excellence on high value vegetables. That is all that we need to cover in this question. Now you have to tell me that who is the chief minister of Meghalaya. That is your question for the day. And here comes our next question, which is also the last question of the day. So this question is about Recently, Minister of Electronics and IT has established the Gyan Circle Ventures, which is a technology business incubator under Type 2.0 for promoting entrepreneurship and innovation in young minds. In which Indian Institute of Information Technology is the Gyan Circle Ventures established? First of all, what is the meaning of technology business incubator? Guys, do you know what is an incubator? Incubator is, uh, I'm talking about the startup or business incubator. So incubators are those uh, organizations that provide preliminary facilities to businesses and entrepreneurs so that they can open up their businesses. So technology business incubator. Incubator is clear, the agency which provides support now with what kind of support and which kind of businesses what kind of businesses will get support from this gyan circle venture those businesses which are indulged in technology which are indulged in innovation so this gyan city uh, gyan circle ventures will provide uh, support to only technology business entrepreneurs now the second point of importance is that this Gyan Circle Venture has been established under Tide 2.0 scheme. Now, what is this Tide 2.0 scheme? We will be discussing later on in the next slide. But right now, we will be discussing the answer of this question that uh, in which Insti uh, Indian Institute of Information Technology is this Gyan Circle Venture established? 
Now, before discussing the answer, let me clarify that this is IIIT and IIIT is different from IIT. IIT is Indian Institute of Technology and this is Information Technology. This is a very minor difference that you should know. Now, let's discuss the answer of this question. So, the answer is option D. Indian Institute of Information Technology. Now, where is this Sri city located? In which state is this located? It is Andhra Pradesh. I hope that you can easily remember what I have said to you because these things are very important. I am saying this again and again because these are really very important for your examination. Now we have discussed everything about the Gyan Circle Ventures. What is the purpose in which institute has it been established and under which scheme has it been established? And now it's time for us to discuss this type scheme. So what is this type scheme? Tide, uh, the full form of Tide is technological incubation and development of entrepreneurs. Quite easy. The name is quite easy to clarify the purpose of this scheme. What is the purpose? To promote technological entrepreneurs and how are they going to be uh, promoted through support and what kind of support? The support that will be given to higher educational institutions to strengthen their technological incubation center. So, Gyan Circle Venture is a technological incubation center which is established at a higher educational institution and which higher educational institution it is IIT Shri City, Triple IT Shri City. So, this is the main purpose of this scheme that this aims to promote the technological startups and companies and new entrepreneurs. Now, the second thing that you need to pay attention to is that it was launched in 2008. Tide 1.0 was launched in 2008 and currently the 2.0 version, sorry, Tide 1.0 was launched in 2008 and currently Tide 2.0 version of the scheme is being implemented. So here, everything has been discussed about this type scheme and the Gyan Circle Ventures. Now guys, I have a question for you that you have to tell me in the comment section that who is the Minister of Electronics and IT. And here uh, comes our session to an end. I hope that you have liked the session and if you have any kind of suggestions and doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Do not forget to mention your answers in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video.